I am the resurrection and the life. We have believed in you, though you are dead, we shall be dead. We shall live.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We still say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, get to that baby. Say hallelujah.
clapping your hands. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Come on, praise God. Give God praise for this life right over here. Come on, clap your hands. Hallelujah. 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 We're here to celebrate. Look at that. We got our masks on. Look at somebody. We came to celebrate. A well-lived life. Come on, somebody. A well-lived life. Hallelujah. We don't understand everything. But how do you know God is still on the throne?
Yeah. yeah. We're going to have a family and friends to come forth at this time. The program says three minutes. Remember, we want to be mindful of the family, amen? So those that are going to be speaking with you, come forth at this time with family and friends. I love this brother. I would love to speak on today. Would you come at this time?
short, short, short time. I met him in January. Um, he's one of my friends. One friend. Um, all I remember is his big smile. Every time I see him, he's had the biggest smile. I don't care what I was going through, just make you smile. It's a contagious smile he has. And I just thank God that I knew who he was. Or got to meet him. I mean, just make you laugh to your stomach hurt. Every time I see him, he always has something. Jesus said, here I stand, won't you please let me in? And he said, I will tomorrow. Jesus said, I am he who supplies all your needs. And you said, I know. Thank you. 
and the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. I'm going to talk back to you, y'all. Uh, look at somebody so we coming through this. Well, y'all can do better than that now. Talk like you're mad. Somebody said, we're coming through this. In other words, we're going to make it through this. Family, I know, and friends, I know many of you are hurting, and, and a lot of times people can say they understand, but you really don't understand if you've never been there. If you've never lost someone, someone has passed that's been real close to you. Uh, the pain and the, the challenge of living beyond them not being here can be enormous. But I just want to let you know the Bible says in Psalms of Solomon, he says that love is stronger than death. Love is stronger than death. What do you mean? In this situation, people will try to make you feel that death has won. But the Bible says that love is stronger than death. Death. I'm reminded of some instances in the Bible where it seemed like death had won. When Cain killed Abel, it seemed like death had won. Noah escaped the flood and he still had to die. It seemed like death had won. Isaiah. He was known as an evil-eyed prophet. Saw great things, and what he spoke came to pass. But he had to die. But death was seen to have won. Habakkuk, another prophet, uh, spoke to Israel, spoke the truth. He was powerful, but he had to die. It seemed like death had won. I can go through many other examples where it seemed like death had won. But again, the Bible says love. Somebody say love. Love, love is stronger than death. How can you say that? Because over 2,000 years ago, can I be free? Because over 2,000 years ago, love and death Jesus said, listen, I'm tired of you going to and fro, whooping people, killing people. I'm going to die for those people because if they die now, they're going to live again. Look at somebody who said, death may have taken place, but death did not want because Jesus went down in the grave and on the third day he got up. I won't have to die no more. It seems like in these type of situations, our hearts are hurting and our, the tears are flowing. Amen. When you, when, when this is all over and the people start calling you, amen, the phone calls are ceased. You've got to know that the love of Antonio will live in your hearts. The laughter, the times that you shared with him, Glory to God will last forever. Love will last forever. For God is love. The Bible says, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can 
rescue. Look at somebody say he came to my rescue. So now I'm almost finished. I just got to read to your hearing that Jesus told them to go to the other side. He said to the disciples, he said, let us go. In other words, Jesus said, everywhere you shall go, I'm going with you. I know it seems like nobody is walking with you. I know sometimes it seems like God is not answering your prayers. I know it seems like things are not coming together like you think it ought to come together. But look at somebody say, Jesus is still with me. Glory to God. Uh, the Bible says, as things follow the commandment of Jesus. Uh, the Bible says,
to call a one day revival. I'm going to pray. We're not going to call nobody out because I don't even embarrass you nobody. Hallelujah. But if you're not in a place where you need to be in God, please, so forth. This is your day. Antonio would love for folks that don't know Christ to give their life to Christ today. That can be the best celebration for him. I know it hurts. I've been there. But take advantage of this time. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and we praise you for your goodness and your mercy. God, we are simply here today for this purpose that God, today we want to petition heaven for those that don't know you. For you said that we confess you with our mouths and believe in our heart that God rose Jesus. In other words, he got up and he died to our sins. Everything that we could ever do was nailed to the cross. And everything we could do wrong was handled at the cross. So God asks now for those that don't know Jesus, come into their lives now. If, you, if that's you, this is all coming to my life. with my mouth that Jesus is Lord of my life. I thank you for saving me. If you believe God save somebody, give them a hand. Have a praise right now. Thank 
care of me now. My last Mrs. Antonio Eugene Slater, 1978-2020. Family, you've lost a son. Thank you. 